So for different quality. Now, Leo and actually a video that's really shot in South Africa. We're releasing the video today. A song called Higher Higher. Very nice video. Why? very different feel, yeah? Because sometimes if you work with only one producer and there's a particular one genre of music, but the best thing to find a different producer is going to put a different level. And then here, a producer is someone who can stretch you level in your maybe on guy picker. So because sometimes when I produce some music to stretch, I can hit this note, change this note, change this tune and change this sound. And then here, now I'm a producer, I'm gonna wale wanna put here a new vibe. Using your Congo to make up for a very long time. So and after a new vibe that can relate even to the younger generation. So you have to mix all that to comfortable now come on go and organize for so many years. I have been working for so many years, but my anger is in the generation, my teeth in the generation, my cruel in the generation, my heart is in the generation, and I have a challenge to make sure that I do a different vibe of music. Okay, which song right now stands out as Boma Mba, your favorite track of your album? Yes, it's a good song. It's a good song. It's a good song. It's a good song. Okay, okay. Come on, I'm going to make it. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make a big one. Check it. What? Okay. Eh... The favorite song. Manze, you know what I'm saying? I like my favorite song. I'm saying you enjoy all the songs I've been playing. Because by the time I'm done, I'm going to record it. You know, you can hear it. It's a very good song. Because even in Kapungala, in my album Kapungala, the song you can expect is the good song. I like it. In my album Vanity, the song you can expect is high quality. But for me, this album, I think. It's a very different dimension to to make sure that to make sure that we're thinking about gospel music, yeah? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about the gospel, what are the gospel industry, <laughs> the gospel ministry. Mm -hmm. To make sure we're about it. But for me, this one is a, just to confirm that I'm still a gospel musician. Mm -hmm. I'm still doing gospel music. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to change, and I stand for the gospel ministry. Okay, yeah. Still on that. Eh? Mm -hmm. No, unajua, eh, gospel is a very open thing. See, see, uh, I'll leave you going here. Anyone can do gospel music, you yeah, understand? Yeah. But what matters is, for how long can you sustain? Mm -hmm. For me, this is my 19th year. So it means next year I'll be celebrating 20 years. It's, it's not easy for someone to do gospel music for 19 years without facing any challenge to be tempted that one day you need to do a secular song. Yeah. But for me, I've never done a secular song. Okay. I've all, always stuck to doing gospel music, purely gospel music. Uh -huh. Okay, we understand this is your sixth album. This is my sixth album. I think uh, it's a biggest mileage. There yes. are so many people who haven't even done one yes. album. Yes, yes, but yes. it's your sixth album. This is my sixth what, album. What have you done different uh, comparing the previous albums? Yeah, the, the, you know, uh, my first album is more of an upcoming artist. My second album is established and all that. My third album did so well because it you know, penetrated to the mainstream media and fans and all over. That was Kapungala. Yeah. But this one was, is different because. I've challenged myself even to do a different type of music. I've never done Afrobeat, yeah. but this one is a challenge to find Afrobeat because the young producers want to come here. Right now, there's what what we call trendy, but what what matters the most is the word or the contents should not change. But the beats, the style, and everything, you must get young, funky producers who can challenge you to, to do something different. Yeah. What is so special about this season? I'm going to find was any way to achieve I think uh, my analysis is this, because last year everyone was confined in one place eh, due to COVID, eh? yeah. Msani and Itaji such moments for creativity. So I think most of the artists at that time will enter into a, a vacuum of creativity. Now I can get your moment here creativity, it was idea kufika a level whereby in the long run, right now we are seeing, they were sowing last year, right now to Mother Kuona, the products from what guys will come here last year. Because last year, most of, that, most of us were confined in one place. So the only thing as a musician, me, apart from being a musician, I paint. I used to paint a lot and write music a lot. So right now, to Manza Kona, the product to it. Because sometimes you find you're so busy, you can't even go back to studio to write music when you have events. Like this year, next year, it was very hard to see so many albums because I was so busy. That's why you know, I was saying, ah, because album needs concentration. Album needs you take time. Album needs because for me I record more than 25 songs. Mm -hmm. Out of 25 songs, I had to chop them to 15. Mm -hmm. So you see, it takes a lot of time mm -hmm. 
to feel like I'm confident with what I'm doing. And then there are some songs I've done with guys from Tanzania and all that. You have to send the song, they listen, they agree, you agree, you sign contracts. So it's a, it's a stretchy moment. It's a very stretchy moment. Yeah. Kwa hiyo kama wewe hii album imefikiwa muda huu. Um, I can say there are some songs nilifanya kitambo kiasi and then kuna hizi nimefanya mpya. So more than 10 songs nimefanya more than 15 songs nimefanya during this time but out of the 15 songs nimechagua only 10 to compile with the others to make it pretty. So I can say the beginning of this year or late last year when I was going through something that's when I decided to do this album. Yeah. yeah. Na ukimia wako mainly inaonekana is it because you you decided to get into creative mode or is it because you were going through that thing? No for me it was more of the circumstances around me. Mm-hmm. I can say mine it was more about circumstances around me because everyone lazima wanasemanga choices have consequences. So for me I can say says the blame anyone I can just say it was more of my choices. What is the status quo right now? Are you seeing someone? I want to you online. For for the moment by there right now, I'm I'm Nico Nashipakel. That's all I can say. So a while back, eh, tulikujaga hapa kwa ajili ya kumzindua wa msanii wako if you can remember. Nataka kujua hali inafikia wapi bado umemsign? Judy Stevens. Yeah. Yako hapa? Somewhere ni mwana kwa red carpet mahali hapa. Eh tunatoa ngoma na yeye. The video that we've done tulienda kwa South Africa with good father. Hiyo ndio video tunatumia. Yeah. Eh na pia nataka kujua eh do you talk to your ex? Eh yeah, I've only no comment bro. Okay, okay, we got no one. Ask us. I would like to know your relationship between you and him. DJ Mo is like my brother because uh, you know Size was my dancer. Twenty was Size was, was my dancer. Size was my, my dancer. Savara was my dancer. Alice Kamanda was my dancer. So many people were Twenty were they were my dancers before they bro- broke through yeah. to become musicians. So me and Size to look like brother and sister. But then DJ Mo like a picture to go check who are so tight. And then DJ Mo pia ni limit. But time to look on a studio with Guru. And uh, DJ Mo alikuwa amekuja ku record he used to be in a group yeah. alikuwa yeah, Adusheta yeah. okay. eh alikuwa alikuwa anakuwa musician ukimwona hivi and then akatana akakuwa DJ so our relationship goes beyond just arts music and all that yeah. so me and DJ Mo ni kama brothers and sisters yeah. brothers yeah. and sisters so, so yeah. ni kama also, sister there are also very many uh, a few a few kids on the block new kids on the block yeah, yeah. in the gospel industry yeah, yeah. Uh, which ones do you recognize right now no there are so many because you know, at the end of the day yeah, uh, finding a uh, Umejua sahi shida yenyewe iko ni wengi wanaanza vizuri and then eventually unasikia mtu amechanga mikoa a secular artist. So for me it's really hard to, to define what is gospel, who is a gospel artist and who is not a gospel artist. So I don't want to say someone today niseme eh nimesema hivi and then kesho mnasema ah but you want to say gospel artist and then mkuje muni you slaughter me for that for my comments. So I can say when we come to gospel is open for everyone. Anyone can do that. In fact for me the more we have gospel musicians, the more we have young gospel artists that's how happy I become because our aim is to raise more gospel artists. Our aim is not for us to remain here. Our aim, in fact, for me, if I was not a gospel musician, by now I'm going to retire. It's only that I'm doing it because I know I have to do it for Christ. Yeah. So there's so many young cats, but I believe it's open for everyone. Oh. So, um, I've spoken to Lotan, one of your MCs. Yes. Na meniambia, there are three MCs. Yes. Kuna Burale, mm-hmm. this MC Abel. Burale is MC. Eh, Burale new host. New host. Oh, hey, pole, pole, pole. <laughs> so among the three, uliamua wote watatu, how come was one not enough? Uh, Burale brings in, uh, he's, he's running the program, the main program. He brings in that maturity and all that. Abel is very good because he's doing the activations, because uh, there are so many activations we do, like dealing with the media and all that. And then Lotan is the young cat. He's the one of those few uh, MCs in the industries right now that I really reckon and I feel like he's going places. So, lazima mpati yo platform ya kumonisha. This is how we do it and kina burali na mshika mkono. So, you'll see their, their work up katikati and then you'll understand why. Sorry, la mucho kutoka hapa. Gospel Tanzania umewashirikisha ule labda utamani uimbe nao lakini haikutokea kama hayupo ni kwa nini ujiwashirikisha Tanzania wakati sisi wote ni kama East Africa ni sote tuna supportiana kwa album kuna Tanzania wawili by the way wa kwanza na Kaya wa pili ni Bela Combo 
So eh, na, na kuna wengine bado kuna projects bado nafanya nao pamoja. So for now this one ilikuwa more the vibe in this ilikuwa na suit Bella Combo mostly than akina Gosbert akina au wengine wote. But for now tumefanya na Bella Combo. So wa Tanzania wako ndani. Usitie shaka. Dadi Owen sorry la mwisho kutoka hapa Black TV. Uh, kuna wakati ambapo hivi majuzi ulikuwa na Guardian Angel one of the artists gospel artists na akasema kwamba the gospel industry hapa Kenya imekufa. Yes. And currently yeye anainua another gospel industry in Seven Heaven. What can you say about that? Hakuna gospel industry. For me I believe there's gospel ministry. So gospel kama ni itaemesema ni kweli gospel industry imekufa because if it's about money it's dead. It's dead and buried. But right now all we have is gospel ministry and I believe each and every person are going to mandate ya to make sure that the word of God is lifted higher and higher. And what Guardian is doing is very good. Yeah, and I appreciate that. And I appreciate that. And I feel for now by the anafanya job poa sana. Yeah, and it's very good because for me I believe young artists should be there to carry others and show others how to do it because even for us when we started long time ago when i was 20 25 years you know kazi nilikuwa nafanya right now i'm 40 it means nimeimba for 20 years yes na pia nilikuwa nasema kwamba kuna watu ambao walikuwa wanapiga wasanii wa nyimbo za injili vita ukijaribu kumsupport msanii anayechipuka unapigwa vita na bidi paka una give up and he explained saying that that is the main reason why bahati quit the gospel industry maoni yako ni gani hapo no one should give up kina Stefano alipigwa mawe Paul alipigwa mawe haku give up and then preach the gospel you, you should not give up because unapigwa mawe kupigwa mawe ni kawaida watu kama sisi tumepigwa mawe miaka mingi na bado tuko hapa in fact for me when i go through like what i went through for me it makes me stronger so you need to be tough you need to know that is not it did not come easy because even the bible says the gospel arm and the word of god in the in is violence you understand and by violence we are take it by force so for us we are here knowing that upigwa mawe ni kawaida lazima upigwe mawe lazima go through what you going through nitio soro nitio thank you so much for coming to support us during this time because at the end of the day young artists young politicians should come together to change this nation so me na appreciate na katuku mapinga mimi nasema lazima ni appreciate mtu open kwa ni appreciate na thank you sana kwa appreciate open for coming for being with us the other people who are still coming but who are just coming and standing with me at the same time is my lawyer so niko covered niko covered serikali kwa hapa just